Hey guys and welcome to another video. My name is Annabelle and today I wanted to talk a little bit about my camper build again because uh, I've received some questions and curiosity as to what I'm planning on doing and I just kind of wanted to address it in a video because I am excited to share what I have planned. So prior to actually getting the trailer I had a very clear not clear because I think some of you may have watched that when I picked up the trailer but I did have a vision for what I wanted and um, the main feature was you know the kitchen in the back that would flip up and you'd have access from the outside as well as a plexiglass um, like roof so that you could see the stars at night and that was the two main features that I wanted in it. And besides that, I didn't have any real vision, I guess you could say. And I'll link, I will link the uh, instructable document or website, whatever, where I saw the, uh, some guy made a plexiglass roof and pretty much I was just planning on copying the, the roof part of it just because he had it in great detail so that someone like myself who doesn't know um, a lot about building, I still say I really don't know a lot about building, I could follow it very easily and build it. So that was, you know, a week and a little bit ago and very recently I um, had seen this video pop up before, I never watched it, I thought it looked really cool and then I decided to watch it and it was basically a wooden like caravan sort of camper it's hard to describe but here are some like photos and stuff that I'll just kind of um, show you as I'm rambling here in the background but there was something that I really liked about it and it was you know combining a super small space with that curve and really detailed work I've also wanted to do metal work for a while but I haven't been pushed into it and so this is the perfect reason or thing I need in order to actually make this possible. So I will be taking a like basic welding class. I'm lucky enough that my grandfather actually has I think pretty much all the tools that I um, need to weld. And so I'm going to try to weld the, uh, this super awesome camper that has like the curve to it and then the window seat and the bed and a small kitchen and a little stove. And then one of the other cool things is that it incorporates that, uh, you know, the, the access to the outside. So it has screens that are Velcroed as you can see and um, and then it has like sort of like a canvas tarp like you'd have with a tent that goes over it and it's just so so cute and something that I'd really be proud of I think if I was able to accomplish it and it's something that I'm really excited about I have like the same giddy feelings that I had when I was planning this this build and I finally you know got to a design and I actually got the trailer and I'm like yes I want to do that and so I didn't have that feeling with the other teardrop but now I've been like planning it all out I have this little thing um, it's hard to see but basically the w there's the window seat my bed some storage and then here's that um, the window the window seat, I already told you. But I've decided that I want to make it kind of into a sun and then have, you know, how he has these little cutout windows that are actually storage too. I want to make like stars and maybe planets to incorporate um, like, you know, the astrology and the, this other adventure that I'm going on. So I've just been planning stuff and uh, yeah, I'm just kind of excited because I shared most of my tiny house build on YouTube, but um, I didn't really share the beginning stages of the planning. 
and that was because I was still kind of hesitant to make YouTube videos and so I didn't really get into it right away so I'm just really stoked that you guys will get to see all my planning process as well as the whole build and probably some welding mistakes and um, hopefully a really cool camper. My timeline and goal is to have this finished by July. I don't know if that's possible with all the trips and traveling I'm doing, but I think, I think I'll, I'll be able to make it happen just because I kind of set that date already and yeah, I think I should be able to accomplish that. So the guy online spent 20, he said less than 20,000 on the camper. That's a lot of, it's a lot of money. That's way more than this tiny house cost. And so I'm, I don't have a clear idea of how much I'm going to spend. Um, but the trailer was $1,550, I think. And then I already know the solar setup that I want so that I can, you know, have it either hooked up at like a campground or I could have it, you know, just completely off the grid somewhere. I think it's going to be about $1,000 to get the wattage so that it could power a small induction stove. So I already know I have that $1,000 expense, so we're already at, you know, $2,500. So I really have no idea and I will, you know, make an Excel spreadsheet again and I will gladly send that once I have uh, finished the project to share, you know, things I did. But there's a lot of little things in this camper that are gonna have to be custom made. And so it's just whether I can find the right material and figure out how to do it myself or if I need to get someone else to build it and in that case it's going to cost a lot more money so I really have no idea how much it's going to cost but we will see as it plays out and for those of you who watched the other video you know why I'm making this this uh, camper it's to be towed by a normal car not by a massive truck that I don't have for this tiny house um, to yeah travel around the US for a little bit and to try to find a place that I want to buy property um, I might end up going all the way around and then deciding I do want to be in New York but I don't feel I don't want to start a really big project without having without having explored you know the rest of the US pretty extensively so that's the plan possibly this fall, if not this fall, hopefully in this, not this summer, but next, I will, I will do that. I think that's all I have to share with you. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, you can leave them below. One last thing I do want to say that I haven't said on YouTube is that I'm going to Japan in three weeks, a little over three weeks, and I'm going with the Forest Therapy Association that I got certified through, and I'm going to be meeting with the Forest Therapy guys in Japan. As some of you may know, it originated there, so um, it's a super amazing opportunity that I'm so excited to partake in. And it's kind of unbelievable because I thought I wasn't going to be traveling any, like, internationally anymore for a, <laughs> for like four more, five more months. But turns out it's uh, coming around a lot faster than I expected. So I'm doing that, and I leave March 20th. So yeah, super excited about that trip, and. I'll also be visiting some forests and hot springs hopefully while, while I'm there. So of course I'll be making videos. I have videos from Switzerland I still need to finish. I have a forest therapy video that's in the works. So there's so much going on and I have very limited time. And so I'm just trying to find a really great balance 
for it all, but the main reason that I made this video is that I wanted to share this awesome new teardrop, new camper idea, and also share where I got the information from a lot of what I was planning for the teardrop, and then share where I'm planning to base my design for this camper off of. I will keep you guys updated. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I will see you very soon. Adios.